Hello grade 11s, today we're going on to solving trig equations with more than one ratio from slides 139 to 149 from the trig PowerPoint. Okay, so these aren't too difficult. It's just now that you're going to be having more than one trig ratio in the equation. And I will show you little tricks how we deal with these. So our first question is saying, Determine the general solution if 3 cos x minus sin x equals 0. Okay, so normally what you guys are used to, you're used to having just one trig ratio. Now we've got a combination of sine and cos. So there's a little trick that you can use if you're getting a sine and a cos in the equation. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the sine to the other side. And we get 3 cos x equals sin x. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide both sides by cos x. So this will cancel and we're left with 3 on that side. And here we're left with sin x over cos x. Now we know what sine x over cos x is, it's tan x. And now we've got a nice little trig equation that we can use. So whenever you're dealing with trig equations, grade 11s, always try and get it in terms of one trig ratio, okay? Um, we don't want a combination of things. So from here, I can just use my um, tan general formula. So it's going to be x is equal to shift tan of that thing. So we go shift tan of 3. And I'm going to round this off to one decimal. So it's 71.6 plus k plus 180. And I must just state that k is an element of the integers. I don't take it any further than that because they haven't given us an interval for our x. So we just leave it as the general solution. All right. Going on to question B. Question B is saying, determine the general solution if cos 2 theta plus 30 is equal to sine theta. Okay. Now, with this question, we can't do what we did with question A and divide both sides by cos. The reason why, grade 11s, is that this angle is different from this one. Okay. So we, we wouldn't be able to get, for example, tan 2 theta plus 30 because this is a different angle to this one. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is I know that sine and cos are co-functions. So I'm going to change this one to cos, all right? Just by saying 90 minus. As soon as I do that 90 minus theta bit, 90 minus this angle, I'm going to get a cos. So over here, we're going to get cos 2 theta plus 30 is equal to cos 90 minus theta. Okay, and I've changed the sign to the cos using the cocoa, 90 minus. All right, now you're probably thinking, well, how are we going to do our shift cos, whatever the number is, to get our angle? Well, we already have our angle. Our angle or our reference angle is this. Because we have a cos equals a cos, that's good. This angle must be equal to this angle. But remember, we need to do a general solution because there are many solutions for this. Okay. So I'm going to do, uh, write up my cos general formula, which is 2 theta plus 30, just like what we normally would, this. And now instead of going shift cos of something, I'm going to use this as my reference angle. 90 degrees minus theta. Okay, and you remember cos is plus or minus. Then we've got here plus k360. Okay, what I'm going to do now is now I'm going to break it down because we've got 
a plus part and a minus part. So we'll have 2 theta plus 30 is equal to, and I'm going to do the plus one first. Here I can just drop the bracket, take the 90 to that, uh, or sorry, the 30 to that side, and then that minus theta to that side. So we'll get 2 theta plus theta is equal to 90 minus 30 plus K360. Okay, here we get 3 theta is equal to 60 plus K360. I'm going to divide through by 3 and we get theta is equal to 20 degrees plus K120. Remember to divide this by the 20 as well, okay? By the 3, sorry. And K is an element of the integers. Right, so we've solved for the plus part. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to solve for the minus part. So we get 2 theta plus 30 is equal to minus 90 minus theta plus k360. Just get rid of our bracket here. Just by multiplying the negative inside the bracket. Take the theta to that side, take the 30 to that side. So we get 2 theta minus theta is equal to minus 90 minus... 30 plus K 360 that will give us theta is equal to minus 120 plus K 360 where K is an element of the integers all right and we have salt and I'm not going to take it any further than our general solutions let me just highlight our solutions our first one is that one and the next one is that one I'm not going to take it any further than that because we don't have a restriction on our angle so we just leave it as the general solution. Okay, going on to uh, example C. Determine the general solution if sine 2x minus 5 is equal to cos x minus 35. Okay, so if you remember from the first example, I took sine divided by cos to get the tan. I can't do this over here because, again, the angles are different. So we can't do that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do something very similar to question B, where I'm going to change the cos to a sine by using 90 minus our angle, which is x minus 35 degrees. Okay, and as soon as I do that, the cos will change to a sine. So this will become sine 2x minus 5 equals sine 90 minus our angle, which is x minus 35. And now we've got it all in terms of one trig function. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to simplify in the inside here. So it's sine 2x minus 5 equals sine and I'm going to miss some steps here grade 11s so 90 minus minus 35 is going to become 90 plus 35 so we get 125 and then that with the x will give us minus x okay so we can't do that shift sine thing and get an angle but because sine is equal to sine this will be our reference angle bit okay so I'm going to write up the, um, the sine uh, general solution, which is going to be our angle, which is 2x minus 5 degrees equals a reference angle, 125 degrees minus x plus k360. Okay. Yes, I know there's the second bit. I'm just going to solve for this one, then I'll solve for the second bit. Okay. So the minus 5 goes to that side, the x comes to this side. So we will get 2x plus x equals 125 plus 5 plus k360. That will give us 3x is equal to 130 plus k360. 
360, divide through by 3, and we will get x is equal to 43.3 degrees plus k 120, where k is an element of the integers. Okay, so there's our one solution. Now we can do the second solution, which is going to be 2x minus 5 degrees equals 180 minus our reference angle plus k 360. Okay, let's get rid of this minus here. And we get 2x minus 5 degrees equals 180 minus 125 plus x plus k 360. Okay, take the x to that side, take the minus 5 to that side. And we get 2x minus x equals 180 minus 125 plus 5 plus k 360. All right, and then that should give us 60 degrees. I just want to make sure 180 minus 125 plus 5, and we get 60. Okay, and then 2x minus x is just x equals 60 degrees plus k360, where k is an element of the integers. Okay, there's our second solution. And we are finished. We don't have a restriction on our angle so we just leave it as the general solution okay grade 11 stick around for part two thank you